everybody, Phil with American Liberty Fighters. It is Tuesday, March 28th. I think I'm right there. Um, anyhow, I wanted to put out a quick video. Um, kind of try to keep it short tonight. I'm, I guess I keep saying that. I never can. Um, kind of give you a rundown of what, what's gone on so far today. There's not really been much. I went to work. Yay. Another day at work. Um, I had to get my truck worked on today. Uh, the suspension up front just was so bad. I didn't want a chance driving around too much more. It was really it was it was squeaking pretty bad um, and very rough riding on it. So I've I've actually um, painfully shelled out some money for uh, a shop to do the work on the front end. I'm actually going to do uh, the, the the shocks on the back uh, myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna order that order the parts in and, and do those myself. So if anybody wants to see how funny that can be, um, let me know, and I'll put that video out this weekend when I do the shocks on the back end of the truck. Um, I've noticed that it's a lot smoother up on the truck right now the way it rides, and it's definitely a lot more quiet. Um, which is awesome. Uh, so I can just imagine how much smoother it'll be once I get the shocks on the back end done. Uh, let's see. So, um, I had a conversation with a couple of people the other day, um, about how things are going and how they, they're looking at the videos that I'm putting out. And evidently, I'm coming off as though I'm I'm a little scared of, of taking this plunge into moving off, uh, moving away, and and um, no longer having employment. Um, I'll admit that it's it's a bit daunting. It's kind of you you get into kind of a. a It's, it's like your normal, your normal day, your normal routine. You get into a routine, and it's hard to break through that routine at times. Um, part of it would be I'm, I'm used to a routine, and part of it is just trying to make sure that I'm doing everything I need to do in order to take care of my family. It's been pointed out that there are some people that have had to make this decision without any choices. They just had to go do it, which has to have been tough. And and I'm blessed not to have to have that happen to me. Um, I do have choices, but my choices are very limited. I've made my choice. I already know what I'm going to do. It's just when I go ahead and, as they say, pull the trigger. Um... That will be soon, and my wife and I have discussed it. We discuss things every evening. Um, we're in agreement with everything that's going on. We definitely have, we don't like living in a small little place that's not ours anyhow. There's a lot of limitations here that won't be limitations there, and... I've been blessed enough to be connected to a woman who can think of things on the fly as ideas for making a, a making an income of some sort. So I've said that I'm not I'm not that kind of person. I don't just think things like that out of the blue. Um that would take me some planning and, and a lot of thought would have to go into that. You know, that's just who I am. Um, I'll, I'll, and forgive me for, I lose train of thought here. Um, 
my mind is going a million miles a minute and my mouth can't keep up. Um, there's a lot of things I want to get done before we go out there and I'm feeling the pressure of not being able to to get those things done in a timely manner. Uh, the first thing I have to get done is the fencing for the dogs. Once we get that done, everything else is just, you know, it's downhill from there. Um, getting the getting the dog area done and then getting all of our stuff up there, that's going to be a big, a big, uh, a big plus for us. Um, I'll do the videos that I can do on those things when I do them. And I'll try to do some other videos out here of stuff going on here. I just, um, it, you know, doing things here is very limited. We, we don't have a lot that we can do here. We've already taken a lot of things up to the property already. Uh, so most everything we're going to do is going to be up there. Unfortunately, we won't be going there this weekend. Um, but the next weekend we will be. And... If we can do it, we will go up probably every single weekend for the next few weeks uh, in order to get things completely ready to go. Um, with that being said, you know we we we're wanting to get out there as quickly as possible, but. I'm also wanting to make sure that I don't put us in, in, a, in a financial bind. We had a May 1st deadline where we wanted to be on the property. And we've talked a little bit and we're actually, in order to do things the right way and not to feel so pressed for time, we're going to probably extend that till June 1st, uh, which gives us one more month. And at that point, we'll already have everything there. We won't be moving in the dead of summer where it's hot. Um, hopefully, we'll have everything already situated up there. And we'll have everything, all the, all the buildings will be secure. So we won't have that issue. Um, and we will be going up there on the weekends. Um, so... It's not that we're not going to go, and it's not that we're going to extend this out any further. June 1st is as far as either of us want to wait. Uh, we don't want to be here. She doesn't like it in this little house. I mean, there's no stove. She can't do anything on her channel um, for cooking or anything like that because you know, no stove. Um, we don't have hardly any refrigerator space, and our freezer is actually sitting in a closet that's how small this area is. Um, this is an old um, office building for uh, an insurance company that our landlord, uh, he's tried to change it into what he calls an apartment. It's extremely uncomfortable for two people with two dogs. I don't know, maybe that, that a single person might live here comfortably if they don't like to cook and if they don't like to eat and I like to eat so anyhow that's that so um, we are going to be going up there it's that's a given we're not we're not going to extend it any pa any further past June or yeah, June 1st so um, I think that's two months. It's almost April 1st right now. Um, we'll be packing and making our way up there and doing it uh, in, in the most feasibly responsible way we can. Um, so I know there will be some that are going to say that I'm, I'm dragging my heels and I'm taking my time. And, you know, I guess you could say that. And you might be somewhat right. Um, I am. I'm trying to um, get my mind right and get in the right frame of of how things are going to go. So, not scared. Just kind of pack. 
patiently doing what I think I, I think is right. Um, hopefully you will stick around for the journey up there. And I mean, once we get there, we're going to be hitting the ground running. Um, there's projects galore. Um, with just her and I out there, it's going to keep us pretty busy. So anyhow, that's pretty much all I, I have for today. I'm, I'm really trying to think of things to talk about throughout the week. Uh, I will say that anybody that do that does the 30 videos in 30 days challenge, um, if you make it all 30 days without having a video basically just talking, um, you know, you're doing great. I'm, I'm struggling to find something to say about every day. I don't I don't want to just put a video out to put a video out so that's that's anyhow uh, maybe that's just maybe it, that's just me overthinking things because I tend to do that but um, I'll have to work on that so anyhow I appreciate you uh, you know listening and watching my video um, and we will talk to you again on tomorrow's video. What? <laughs>